we make movies. Welcome back! In this tutorial, we are going to give you an overview of the effects and the inspector in Final Cut Pro. If you don't already have it, download the free 90-day trial of Final Cut Pro by clicking the link in the description. Let's get started. We are going to show you how to add effects, use transitions, and change the overall look of your footage. We will also cover more of the settings in the Inspector, a very powerful window in the Final Cut Pro. Adding transitions on your timeline. To add the default transition, which is cross-dissolve, to your project, move your playhead to an edit point of your video. Use the up and down arrows. Edit, then add cross-dissolve, Command T. You can add the transition to both sides of your clip by selecting the whole clip and pressing Command T. To add a transition to one side only, move your position tool over the front or end of the clip. The position tool will become a trim tool, and depending on where you select it, will either be at the end or front of the edit point. The header or tail of the clip will now be yellow. The red edge indicates that you're on the last frame of the clip, so there are no handles. Press Command T. Making any adjustments to this clip will change the duration of your project in order to give you handles. You can add transitions to the titles and any clips above the timeline. Select the whole title, head, or tail of the title. Press Command T. There are other transitions you can use in place of the default cross dissolve. To open up the transitions browser, select a clip or edit point of the clip. Click the transitions browser icon. Control Command Hover your pointer inside the transition. The pointer becomes a skimmer. Skim back and forth on the thumbnail to preview the transition. Double click the transition to add it to the clip in the timeline. Modifying transitions in the inspector. Select the transition. Press Command 4 to open the inspector window or press the icon next to the share icon. Transition parameters that can be changed will show up in the inspector. Experiment adding different transitions and changing the parameters in the inspector. Deleting and changing transition link. To delete a transition, select the transition and hit the delete key. To change the transition length, press Command plus to zoom in on the transition area. Select any end of the transition and drag it in or out to adjust the length. A box appears above the transition showing the new time. Adding video effects. You can adjust your clips in a variety of ways from the video inspector in Final Cut. Select any clip on the timeline. Go to inspector and select video inspector or the film strip icon. Different parameters that you can adjust are under the following categories. Compositing, transform, crop, and distort. Select the X in position and move the control up or down. Select the scale control under transform. Move the scale, left or right, to decrease or increase size. To disable the effects, select the check mark next to the category. To reset the clip to its default parameters, select reset on the right side of the column. Enable on-screen controls, OSC. Select the crop icon on the right-hand side of the name. The icon turns blue. To make it easier to see the OSC, change the view from fit to 50% or 25%. In the viewer, a box around your clip with blue controls will be enabled. These are the OSC. You can select and change the image by selecting the blue handles and circles on or around the image. You can turn off the OSC by clicking that icon by the name or under the viewer. Video Inspector Overview. Inside the Video Inspector, there are controls that change the size and shape of your video. Transform. Here, you are able to change settings for position, rotation, and scale. Select and hold on any number value. The number value turns blue or a blue box appears around the number. Move the value up or down to change the value. In the viewer, the image will change depending on what transform setting value you changed. Reset your values back to the original by selecting the reset control. You are able to change all settings back by selecting reset to the right of control. Or for the individual parameter, 
by selecting that parameter's reset control. Crop. The default type is Trim. Select Type Control to see the different types of crop. For Trim and Crop, you can change the values for Left, Right, and Type Bottom. Select any of the controls and move the control left or right to change the image. You can also change the image by selecting the number and moving it up and down. We will go over the Ken Burns effect in a moment. Distort. Select any value in the controls for the bottom and top controls. Move up or down to skew the image in the X or Y plane. You can change the value directly by also double-clicking on a number and typing a specific number in. On-screen controls. You can also enable the on-screen controls, OSC, in the viewer for transform, crop, and distort. Select any of the three options. The icon turns blue. A box with blue control points appears around the video. Select any control point and move it to adjust the video. Select reset in the upper right of the viewer to go back to the original value. Select Done to keep the changes and turn off the OSC. When you select the OSC, the corresponding icon across from the title field also turns blue. This indicates you are changing a particular value within that parameter. Ken Burns Effect Ken Burns is a pan and zoom effect that is primarily used to give movement to a still image. Select the OSC control for crop. Select Ken Burns tab. Two boxes appear on and in the viewer. The green box is the beginning view of the effect. This is how the image will look when the effect starts animating. The red box is the end view of the effect. This is how the image will look when the effect has stopped animating. Grab any handles to resize the frame. Grab inside one of the boxes to move the frame around. An arrow will appear indicating the direction of the motion for the effect. The first button on the left switches the start and end boxes around. The preview button plays back the image with the effect applied. Select Done to close the OSC and accept the changes. You can reset the Ken Burns effect by hitting the reset button in Crop in the inspector. Disable our particular effect at any time by deselecting the checkbox next to the name of the effect. Re-enable a particular effect by selecting the checkbox. Keyframes. Keyframes allow you to anchor an effect value to a particular point of a clip. By using keyframes, you can make a video animation effect by changing a particular value at each keyframe. You need at least two keyframes on your clip to create a video animation. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will use the OSC in the viewer to make two keyframes and change their values. Move Playhead to the beginning of the clip by hitting the Up key. Select the Transform OSC underneath the viewer. Grab the left edge handle. Move the handle inward, scaling the image down. Select the keyframe in the left side of the viewer. The diamonds in the Transform controls turn yellow. Hit the Down key to move the Playhead to the next edit point. Tap the left arrow key once to go to the end of the clip. Grab the left edge handle again. Move the handle outward all the way out of view. Move the middle anchor point to the right. New keyframes have been added. Hit the forward slash key to play the selection. An animation using keyframes has been created. There are also clip effects that you can add to parts of your video. Add clip effects to your video. Select a clip. Open the Effects Browser, Command-5. Under Video, you have the All category, and effects split up by different effects. Select Basics. Hover over Crisp Contrast. You will see a preview of the clip with the effect applied. Tip. On some clips, you can hold the Option key and skim the effect to preview the intensity of the effect. Double-click the effect to add it to your clip. Change the effect parameters by selecting the controls in the inspector. Save effects preset. You are able to stack multiple effects on a clip, change the parameters and settings to create your own custom look, and you can save all of these effects as a preset to use on other clips in this and other projects. Select a clip. Add any three effects from the effect browser. 
change some of the parameters of each effect to create a unique look. Select Save Effects Preset. Save Video Effects Preset window opens. Name your custom preset, My Movie Look. Select Category. Scroll down to New Category. Name new category, My Custom Presets. Select Create. Scroll up and down to make sure all the attributes you want to save are selected. You can save various combinations of effects and transform parameters with your preset. Click Save. Move the playhead to a clip with no effects added to it. Select the clip. Scroll in the Effects menu to find My Custom Presets category. Select the My Movie Looks preset. Double click the clip to add your preset to the clip. Skim the clip. The preset has been added to the clip. You will see the added effects in the inspector as well. Conclusion. You have now added transitions and effects to your video, giving your video a unique look and feel. You have changed the size of your image in the inspector and with OSC. Continue adding and changing multiple effects and parameters, and saving these as a preset to use throughout your video. Look through and experiment with all the different effects and inspector controls. Come up with your own unique style to highlight certain parts of your video. If you'd like to learn more about Final Cut Pro, check out the next tutorial in this series here. And if you're curious about everything Final Cut Pro has to offer, but you still haven't tried it, you can check it out free for 90 days using the link below.